All right, uh, this is the Ohm hash generator. Um, this is our first commercially deployed unit. Um, so we implemented a few things that I learned from our prototype. Uh, a few things I'll just run through for those of you who are looking at possibly purchasing one of these. Um, we build the engine in-house, or you know, we, we assemble the engine in-house in the gen set. This is a 5.7 liter Vortec, like a GM small block, um, natural gas aspirated engine. We have an oversized radiator there, um, about a 50 kilowatt generator end. This happens to be a Stanford model, although we offered a few different options. We uh, install these with Dynagen controllers just for the units that are controlled, um, such as this one. So I'll show you that in a sec. So basically I'll fire this up in a minute, but base, when you, you know, you're plumbing off uh, waste gas on a oil and gas site or, or stranded gas, it's gonna fire the engine up first. The engine radiator uh, pulls the air through the skid and that's exactly where the Bitcoin A6 blow, um, blow into this area. And so that engine radiator does all the work to move the airflow for the Bitcoin A6. So on the other side, we basically have a door that's uh, not closed up right now. Uh, we put in these nice Abloy locks, which are drill proof, um, a little more secure. Um, so you have a louver on the front end, on the back end you have a filter. So we basically just unbolt these barrel bolts and pull the filter out and change it. So the whole unit's on a negative pressure, so it's sucking air through this way, in through there. That's the intake of the ASICs. Uh, you can fit about 54 S9s, more comfortably about 48, um, and that's about enough if you underclock them to fill up a, a V8 engine. Um, we also do control systems, uh, so the, we have a PLC controller. These are very, very nice. Um, I won't get into all the details right here, but basically this regulates uh, the uh, fuel gas consumption, so like by by, you know, if the if the fuel gas availability drops, it'll drop the load on the engine because it's watching the engine RPM, and it'll actually drop the load in response to the fuel gas availability. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, if you want to deploy it to a well site and consume all of the excess gas, even if it's fluctuating, you can uh, use these units in parallel, and it will throttle up and down based on the fuel gas availability. Um, as it's as it's operating, um, there's gonna be there's gonna be a vacuum in here. Um, as I'll try to demonstrate, this louver on the front is a nice addition. Uh, it's adjustable, so the operator can you know close it off and make a tighter seal and a vacuum inside, or they can open it up and regulate the airflow, uh, which basically just regulates how much air is being pulled from the ASIC side versus how much is this coming in circulating here at the front end. And that just helps the operator regulate the engine temperature or the ASIC temperature depending on which, um, you know, if one's getting too hot or if it's too cold in the winter, you can open that up and circulate warm heat back into the building. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll fire it up next.